Welcome to the parallel section of the first Ocean Park International STEAM Education Conference 2019. I am Lily Zhang, and it is my honor to be your MC today. Our subject here is connecting students with school through STEAM, engaging students in learning. We have received abstracts from all over the world, and they are all of very high standard. The presenters have different expertise, and I am sure that this will be a very good opportunity to share all these ideas with all educators. After three presentations, uh, after each presentation, we'll arrange a um, five-minute Q&A session. So may I introduce the first presenter to the stage. Here comes the first presenter. We have Mr. Leung Yi Peng, Ms. Chao Man Yi, and Ms. Wong Mei Wa. The topic of their presentation is how a solar boat helps to protect our ocean, a steam activity on marine conservation through the application of sustainable energy. Please come to the stage. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We are CU HK FAA Thomas Jern Kindergarten and the Explain. Today we would like to present our STEAM education project. How a solar boat helps to protect our ocean, a STEAM activity on marine conservation through the application of sustainable energy. Here's, here are our, sorry. Here are our team members. We are all K3 teachers. The activity is designed for K3 students. First of all, some, mm, someone wonders why does the sustainable energy relate to, relate to the ocean protection? When we are talking about the ocean issue, we usually think of, we usually think of the pollution. But not only the water quality can affect the species in the ocean, also the climate change. So, what's happening to our planet and what's happening in the ocean? The global warming. According to some studies, the land ocean temperatures keep rising, rising especially the northern hemisphere and the north pole. Due to the climate change in the north pole, a huge amount of ice and glaciers melt. The, the sea level rises. rises. Some known that regions will, will, will be recovered by the ocean and species are facing extinction. The glaciers melting means that the living place of polar bears is reducing. Have you ever heard the news about a polar bear swim 700 kilometers 
with near 10 days to find a place to stay. They used it to live on a large area of ice continent, and but now they can only live on the frozen ice. So what to do? What? How can we solve this crisis? Reducing carbon emission. Since the industrial revolution in 18th century, the human activities impact on the ecosystem continuously. The carbon emissions leading the climate change. How do how do we reduce the carbon emission? Develop sustainable energy. Can reduce consuming the fuel which producing different types of harmful substances during the energy generation. Now, we're going to show you on our activities process, activity process. At the beginning, we motivate the students with their interest and experience. We discuss the daily use of electricity. What are their interests and experience? Toys, electronic appliances, and digital devices, such as remote cars or mobile phones. They always use and or play those things. After that, we discuss the global issue. We connect these classes, oh, sorry, this task with the discussion of electricity generation. The students find the problems happening in the earth. The next step, we introduce the sustainable and energy, that is the solar energy. We show off some toys and devices which is running with solar energy. The students did some tests to see how they work and how good it is. The most important thing, the most important thing is learning how can it substitute the traditional electricity generation. We consolidate students' knowledge in solar energy with different experience, sorry, experiments and observations. They learn how to install the solar panel on the boat. Through the series of, sorry, through the series of reinforcement, the students get the first hand knowledge by themselves. Those things I talked about is just the first half. The second half, we focus on the engineering and the arts. After they studied the solar energy and, and repeat doing exper experiments, now, they make use of what they learned to make a solar boat. In this stage, they use different materials to build and decorate the boat. They form into some small groups. The members need to discuss and make decisions. They need to test the boats repeatedly before sailing. Finally, the students had a competition to find out which team can make the fastest, make the fast solar boat. They put the boat on the pool and use the solar energy to run the boat. That's all of the activity. Now, let's spend a minute to watch the activity highlight.
in our project features. The activity is based on children's interests and experience. They can use different solar devices in the daily life, such as calculator or some toys. They are so into the activity. The children formed several five-member groups. They discussed how to make the bow. They gave ideas separately, but worked collaboratively. They enhanced the others through discussion. This activity contains a lot of science, science elements. The student improved their products with reflections and evaluation. They did the experiments and observation by themselves. No teaching way is better than a self-exploring. You can see the activity. It's arranged but with several layers, from the start to the end. Students nudge step by the step. At the beginning, students obtained information from teachers. Then the students do the experiment and building the boats by themselves. The students dominant the, the activity gradually. Students usually do some cut, cut and paste artwork in the lesson. Now they have the chance to make their own toys, which is movable. It's an untypical learning experience in the kindergarten. Now, let's check out what elements in our STEAM activity. In the science part, the student learned about global warming threaten, the use of electricity, the use of sustainable energy, and how the solar devices obtain more energy. They learned this part through the experiments and some tests. Technology. The use of solar energy and how the solar energy substitute traditional electricity. The students learned how sustainable energy applied in our life. Engineering. They learned to install the solar panels on the boats and building the boat. And the students repeat doing tests and review and review to improve the products. Art. Design and decorations. Mm. The sense of art is important for, an, for, the, for the engineers and architectures. It's the most favorite part for the student. The student like to make the boats look good, looking good by adding on art materials. Sometimes they add too much too many, too many decorations on the boat, and it becomes he heavy. They need to strike for a balance between appearance and performance. Mathematics. The factors affecting sailing speed. The effects of sunshine angle. We had a competition under the sun. Students were arranged into different time slots to perform the boat. The sunshine, the sunshine angles changed gradually. The students need to adjust the solar panel to obtain more solar energy. To, to perform the boat best. Now, we, we have a look on the um, project structure. We divide it into two parts, two parts, which is observable. In the STEAM elements, we have science, technology, art, and mathematics. Those are knowledge and skills we call it hard skill, which is observable. 
some generic skills, which is the engineering, we call it soft skill, which is hard to measure. In this part, in the engineering part, the student found the problems and plan, plan, and plan how to improve it and revise it. They do some observation and data recording to improve the boat's performance and to make a better one. After the study and review, they found the problems again and repeat it. It is a cycle. That's all of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lauren. Thank you. So here comes the Q&A section of the first presentation. So let me introduce the conference platform to all of you. I think in this morning, you already uh, scanned the QR code. So you can find the live Q&A button. Press into the button and input your questions. And we can see the question and we'll pass to Mr. Lauren. So, do you have any question about this presentation? Well, I have a question because the target group of this uh, program is kindergarten children. So, they may not be mature enough to, uh, or they may not know much about the abstract concepts that you introduce in the course. So, what tools did you use? to give them the basic knowledge about the science, technology, or this thing about the program? It's a good question. Um, as, we, as I said before, this activity, this activity is based on their knowledge and experience. So we try to give them all the things or, or stuff they use in their, their daily life to motivate their interest in, in the activity. Uh, it's a bit, frankly, it's a bit hard to, to introduce some science concept to the, to the, stu uh, to the children. So we, we try to make all the things simple. Um, just let's say maybe uh, some of the um, teachers or uh, parents uh, heard, of, uh, heard about our our activity, or oh, which is playing about playing solar energy. Oh, they think, wow, oh, it's a bit hard. Is it is it possible? Um. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I understand what they they are thinking. Um. Um. I think every uh, every knowledge every every knowledge. We, we have different levels to learn, but we, we in at this stage, uh, the students just need to learn how the solar panel work. Mm. Uh, we, we we are not talking about how it make how how the solar energy. Um, how uh, do we collect run, the solar energy? Run the run, uh, run the panels mm. or um. Uh, what's the function in, of of the panels? We just let the children know that oh, under the heat and night, it will run. Mm. So uh, this may not be easy for the student because they are just uh, three to five years old. And I think it's also difficult for the teachers because it should be very challenging. So any comments from the teachers? Um, I will divide the issue in two parts, the hard issue and the soft issue. The soft issue part, um, it's all about teachers' attitude toward STEAM. The kindergarten teachers are, are far different from primary school teachers or uh, the college teachers, uh, which they are handling independent at specific subjects, uh, just like specific in biology, chemistry, or uh, physical. Um, and most of the kindergarten teachers I come from the field of arts. To be frank, um, the teachers need to put more effort to handle the science education. 
um, uh, some teachers find it is quite challenging. Uh, the STEAM education is a cross curriculum activity. It is different from a typical lesson. Uh, it requires kindergarten teachers eager to handle an innovative teaching activity. Also, uh, science is, a, is the core part of a um, STEAM activity. We need to do many research, uh, research and studies before the activity. Uh, an accurate science concept is important. If possible, I am hearing and hearing a consultant who provide professional support is better. Yeah, a professional consultant can help a lot. Thank you, Mr. Lan. Thank you for the presentation.